Welcome to the Master Dealmaker's Secrets Podcast. And now, here's sales growth strategist, John Blake. Welcome to Master Dealmaker Secrets. I'm John Blake. This is episode 127 and today we are going to talk about three things that you can do if you are currently in a place where you don't have access to your customers. So that's happening for a lot of people at the moment. Uh, I doubt that it's going to be the last time that we see that happening. And it can be a lonely place. It can be a helpless place. And so I want to give you three things that you can do to, to, to be proactive in this situation. Three very powerful things that you can do to be proactive in this particular situation. But first, if you have got leads and you want to convert more of those leads into sales, head over to johnblakeaudio.com and grab your free audio training where I show you the exact strategy that you can use to double sales that are in your existing pipeline. This is the exact same way that I fix the follow-up in all of the different clients that I work with. It's actually the first thing that we work on. Uh, most companies that I talk to have got a minimum of $250,000 worth of unbanked sales sitting in their proposal sent column, and that is your money. So head over to johnblakeaudio.com. You'll get, you'll get an audio training that walks you through the entire strategy. What you'll also get is a PDF that has the exact word-for-word -word scripts and emails that I use to track those sales down and convert them. Exactly what to send and what to what calls to make over a 90-day period. And once you get it in practice and get it working, it will continue to deliver great results for you. It really is the gift that keeps on giving, especially if you teach it to somebody. Righto. So three things that you can do to be proactive during this time if you have had access to your clients cut off or if your business has been somehow disadvantaged from an access perspective with your customers. So the first one is revisit your offer. So come up with some new ideas as to what you can offer. They might be contextual in terms of what's actually going on in the economy right now, or it could be a different take on your existing offer, but come up with some different ideas, some different ways that you can support your clients. Uh, the, the great Dan Kennedy, I, I, I think he said on one of the uh, trainings that I did with him that you should lock yourself in a room and, um, and just like think of ways that you can add value to your clients. So sit down and think of some different offers that you can make to clients, some different problems that you can solve for clients, some different things that you can add on to what you're already selling, things that enhance the existing purchase, things that complement the existing purchase, and things that will protect the initial purchase. Um, so revisiting your offer can make a, make a massive difference. Also, revisit your target. Get clearer on who you can add the most value to in the market. Get clearer on your avatar. Who is it that you can best serve that you can get the, the best result for? Get clearer on that. And then the third one is get clear on your mission. Get clear on your why. Uh, there's a number of different resources out there that you can use to, to do this, to create your vision. Um, the good thing about a vision is that it is really the thing that will motivate you when in, in times where perhaps you don't have as much motivation. So, uh, you know, this could be a great time to do that. Probably is a great time to do that. So that's number one, revisit your offer, revisit your mission and revisit your ideal target client. Number two is use the time to work on your business. So kind of similar to point number one, but as an example, I've got a client who deals with strata and commercial companies and facility managers and he's using this time because he can't really get out and see clients. He's using it to work with me to build him a contact marketing strategy. So we're putting together a core story for him that he's going to deploy using a number of different media so that he can get a, get a very powerful message to his target type clients. So he's using this time very productively and 
it's it, it's a, a good thing to do. Like work on your business. All the stuff that you say that you haven't got time to get to, now you've got time to get to it. And look, there's you know some if if you want to work on your direct strategy, there's some great resources on my website, which is John. Uh, hyphen blake.com.au so you can go there and download some various resources that will certainly be useful in that regard um, and so the third thing is to contact all of your clients okay so so uh, old, old clients inactive clients active clients I, I would certainly start with the active ones but call all of them find out how they're going find out if they need anything don't necessarily ring them up to sell them anything but you know ask them genuinely ask them how they are just work through your client list you be the guy that during the time when things were shitty actually took the time and cared enough to actually ring them because I tell you what if you can if you can be kind and supportive and add value during the shitty times those people will remember that not all of them <laughs> But a lot of them will remember that and they will be a lot more likely to support you when things, when things shift and when things um, you know, start to, to get back on an even keel again. So I hope that helps. Uh, to recap, number one, revisit your offer, revisit your mission, revisit your, your ideal target. Number two, use the time to work on your business. And number three, call all of your clients, be they inactive or active. As always, thank you so much for listening and I will talk to you on the next podcast. Cheers. You've been listening to Master Dealmaker's Secrets with John Blake. Subscribe to get more in-depth strategies to maximize your sales process with new episodes every week. And double your inquiry to sale conversion with the lead flow you already have. Go to johnblakeaudio.com for his exclusive free no-fluff audio training and companion PDF guide.